Hi guys, Crafty Jen here with an acrylic pour and photographs. So I decided I wanted to photograph an acrylic pour with some pretty uh, glitter blue paint. And it was super vibrant and really beautiful paint. Um, deco art. I got it at the dollar store. So I took a bunch of photographs of me. So that's why I didn't video it. But because I had to take photographs. But they turned out really awesome and I was super happy with the results so I just wanted to show you the stages of acrylic pour and photographs um, they got some really gorgeous cells and this is the end piece and it turned out so beautiful when it was wet but then when it dried it dried super dark so I was kind of disappointed but don't worry I'm still good it's still super shiny and I'm gonna use it to do some stenciling on top so I think it'll look really good. Hi guys! So with this um, pour I wanted to give these um, sparkle paints a try. These are from DecoArt. I actually got these at the dollar store uh, which was pretty awesome. <laughs> So this one, these are just sparkle paints from Decor. They're called Glamour Dust. And um, this one's Silver Bling. This one is Turquoise Sparkle. And this one's Aqua. So I poured these three out, um, or mixed these three up. And then just for something, a little, so these are all from Decor, for something a little darker, I put in a bit of Artist Loft um, Brilliant Blue for the dark blue. But I wanted to try the sparkle paint, and I'm super excited because it's kind of working out. <laughs> I wasn't too sure, um, but I'm going to do a dirty cut pour with the sparkle paints. So this one. I might have to mix up some more dark blue because I gave it a try on a larger canvas to do some photography with it and um, I used up quite a bit of dark blue. <laughs> but it's easy enough to do. So I'm going to pour a little bit in there. Grab a little bit of flow troll. So I mean if you run out of your paint, mid paint, I wouldn't really worry too much. If you got your stuff on hand, you can just pour a little, oop, that was a big clump of something. mix it up right on the spot. So as usual I just do like a one-to-one -one ratio for not too sure what that clump was. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Some dried flow trawl. That'll happen where you'll get sometimes you'll get clumps of stuff in there. You can just either try and find them, pull them out, mix them in best you can. There was someone I saw that put um, like pantyhose or nylon over the cup as a strainer, and that's a pretty good idea <laughs> so you don't get lumps. But you know what? I don't even think I'm going to put silicone in this one. I did in the last little bit, but I'm going to leave it. Let's just keep adding it in. 
Well, that's quite a bit of paint. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Just going to make sure you guys are in frame. There we go. <laughs> All right, sparkle paints and pretty blues. Ooh, pretty. Look at those cells grow. Super pretty. Tilt a bit. Oh, you can see all the sparkles. It's super sparkly, which is awesome. <laughs> Pop some more silicone bubbles. I love it. It's almost like Arctic colors. Pretty and super sparkly. <laughs> I love the sparkles, they look awesome. I can't wait to see how this dries. Super excited about this sparkle paint, guys. 